Hi everyone, this is Gideon Cordova here, and I'm speaking to you on April the 8th, 2020, a day which unfortunately in Tasmania is marked in infamy, because this is the day that the state government has reclassified a huge swathe of land, 356,000 hectares of native forest in Tasmania, has been reclassified as the so-called future potential production forest, which basically means that they're opening up this land, making it available to the logging industry to sow destruction. So I've written down a few notes, and uh, so you'll excuse me if I'm looking from side to side as, as I read to you the message that I want to give about this very dire situation. This area of 356,000 hectares is an area equivalent to four times the size of Canberra. Now you've got to understand that the state government already allows logging all across Tasmania. There's 800,000 hectares of permanent timber production zone. So to give you an idea of how much land that is, it's certainly more than enough land to provide all the timber that Tasmania could ever need, 800,000 hectares. Think about it this way. How much land is it? If you take the square kilometres of Singapore, so think about Singapore, of Tonga, of Bahrain, of Luxembourg, and of Hong Kong, put them all together side by side, that's how much land it is that they already have available to them for logging. And yet today, on this very day, April the 8th, 2020, the state government has given an extra 40% of land to be made available to the logging industry. 40% on top of what they already had, which was more than enough timber than we could ever use in Tasmania. So what are we losing with this decision? Well, we're not just losing the approximate $1.3 billion in public funds that have been used to subsidise the logging industry, what is a fundamentally economically unviable industry over the years. It's not just the estimated 450 million dollars that was given to the logging industry as part of the forest agreement to protect those lands. No, we're losing much more than just the money. We're losing time. We're losing time to slow the extinction and biodiversity climate crisis. We're losing time. Did you know that the 356,000 hectares that have been opened up today, those forests contain an estimated 12 million tonnes of carbon dioxide equivalent. So that is to offset that amount of carbon that will be released by logging that area of forest in Tasmania. To offset that amount of carbon, we would have to take one in four cars off the road in Australia every year. It is greater than the amount of carbon pollution created by the entire Australian domestic aviation industry. This is an incredible amount of carbon dioxide equivalent that's gonna be pumped into the atmosphere as a result of logging these forests, which will exacerbate the climate emergency. And for what? When the IPCC tells us that we have 10 years left, when the bushfires are worse than ever, when the storm surges are worse and the floods and the droughts, when they're getting worse, when we see 20 degree Celsius days in Antarctica, what do we get? for logging Tasmania's native forests. When Australia already has the highest rate of mammalian extinction in the world, what do we get for destroying the last vestiges of native forest in Tasmania, for opening up this huge area of native forest in Tasmania? Well, a private profit seeker gets to make a few more dollars of profit for them and their mates, and we get nothing. Nothing but more destruction, more carbon pollution, and more extinction. They take these beautiful trees, these high conservation value trees, this habitat for the gray goshawk and the spotted quoll and the Tasmanian tiger, the wedge-tailed eagle and the swift parrot. They take these trees, they chop them down and some of it goes into wood chips and 60% of the biomass of those precious trees gets burnt. It's burnt on the ground as debris. Sending carbon dioxide up into the atmosphere to make the climate crisis worse. Now, what does this have to do with my role as a Greens councillor on Kingborough Council? Well, it's gonna happen on our land. I'm talking about Bruni Island. I'm talking about the channel. It's 4,909 hectares on South Bruni, in and around Adventure Bay and just south of Alona and just on the outskirts of Lunawana. This area is being opened up as part of the so-called future potential production forests. You can visit forestsforclimate.com.au. There's an interactive map there where you can see exactly the areas near you that are made available to logging. Can you believe 
that today, on this very day, the state government of Tasmania has allowed for an additional nearly 5,000 hectares of native forest on Bruni Island to be logged. That's an area double the size of Tuvalu. And in the channel, there's areas near Birches Bay, just behind Flower Pot. These are areas that are gonna be opened up to logging, not to mention all across the rest of this state. These lands belong to all Tasmanians. They don't just belong to a private profit seeker to make a short-term gain and, and destroy it for, for generations to come. Now, I've heard people say that, you know, timber is a renewable resource, but they never talk about on what time scale, on what time horizon are we talking? So you take a habitat tree that is in a biodiversity corridor, nearly hundred years old, and it's gonna be ready for a wedge-tailed eagle to nest in it in a decade or two's time. You take that tree, you chop it down, and then you burn 60% of the biomass of that tree. You burn the land around it. You destroy everything nearby from the smallest fungi to the largest, the tallest flowering plant on planet Earth. You destroy everything, you wreck the place. And then you plant a seedling. And in 150 years time, that, that seedling might be ready to have a wedgie nest in it, but you're of course gonna destroy it again before it ever reaches that stage. And you call that renewable? The swift parrot does not have another 100 years to wait. A masked owl will not nest in a seedling and a Tasmanian devil won't breed among saplings. You might as well say, using that false logic, you might as well say that coal is a renewable resource because, you know, after all, the coal is going to come back eventually. It might take a couple hundred million years, but it'll come back eventually. It's renewable. It's laughable. It's laughable what we're losing. We need to open our eyes to what's happened today. We need to look around at Aldina, at La Pogna, down near the sticks. The regen burns are happening. This week, they happened last week, we've got photographs. They're not stopping. Just because you and I are cooped up at home because of the pandemic crisis, the logging industry is not stopping. The state government isn't stopping. And so we need to raise our voices together to tell the government that native forest logging in Tasmania must end. How could they take Bruni, South Bruni, the Styx, the Blue Tear, Wailangta, the Wild Mersey, Ben Lomond, Douglas Apsley, the chain of lagoons on the east coast, Port Sorrel, the precious Tekina Tarkine, which should be a national park? How could they take this land and destroy it, take these beautiful carbon-rich biodiverse native forests and woodchip them? What a waste. What a shameful waste. Please, I encourage you. While we're all cooped up at home, visit www.forestsforclimate.com.au. There's an interactive map there and you can see the areas that are about to be uh, logged that have been made as of today, made available to the logging industry. Visit forestsforclimate.com.au and add your voice, sign up and join the campaign. We're stepping into a new world and you look at what's going on with the pandemic around us. We have an opportunity now to reshape society to make it the kind of place that, that we want, to transform the way that we live and work in Tasmania, to have an economy that works for us, an economy that works for society, rather than a society which slavishly works for the economy. We have the opportunity now to move away from environmental destruction and towards environmental remediation. We have the opportunity now to transition jobs away from taking trees out of the ground and instead start putting trees back in the ground so that no worker is left behind. After this crisis is over, we don't want to go back to business as usual. Business as usual in Tasmania, where environmentally destructive industries are propped up by government, but environmentally beneficial industries are left to fend for themselves. We don't want to go back to that. There's hundreds of thousands of new jobs to be found in the green economy, in the transition to 100% renewables. There's hundreds of thousands of potential jobs if we transform society. And the state government should be working on ensuring that we transition to those rather than continuing the myopic destruction of Tasmania's native forests. That needs to stop. We need to protect these native forests for climate. Visit forestforclimate.com.au, sign up today. Tell the Liberal government government that we don't want to log Tasmania's native forests, we want to protect those forests for climate. Thanks for listening. Stay safe, and I hope to see you all again face to face someday soon.